Thank you very much, Riv. I am standing by with the Telestrator, and I have a replay from that game. It's actually a little TIP focused, but there's a part in this that I really want to focus on here, and it's a little different angle of the replay that we saw. This is going to end up in the bottom lane fight where the TP was interrupted top lane, but this is the setup for it. Mid lane, Phoenix. He's already cleared out this minion wave, and he pushes Xiao Wei Xiao in. Phoenix has blue buff around his feet. He's level 8. He has half mana. He's completely fine. Phoenix has options now. Do I back? Do I push this in on Xiao Wei Xiao, who's half HP, and press set advantage, even though he's already 20 CS up? But what's going to happen is there's a fight that happens down bottom. Phoenix doesn't keep tabs on Xiao Wei Xiao. Xiao Wei Xiao makes it bottom, which makes it so it's a 4 on 4, despite the TP being interrupted top. So Phoenix opts for a back here as we roll this replay. You're going to see he goes back, backs to base. Xiao Wei Xiao clears the wave and starts coming bottom, which gives them a number advantage in the favor of TIP. The TP is interrupted top. Quas doesn't have E at this point, so when he comes back into the fight, he's not going to be able to escape it. But look at that in the minimap. Phoenix is back in base. Xiao Wei Xiao is on his way. Phoenix backs to complete Athene's Unholy Grail. At this point, it ends up being a decision that Yesterday we talked about Team Liquid all being on the same page and everybody being in the fight. Phoenix was not in attendance to this fight, and that's a little bit of an oversight there by Team Liquid. They need everybody there. They need to communicate that this looks like a fight that's going to happen and TPs are possible to end up here. There's no reason for him to back at that point, having a CS advantage up, Xiao Xiao at half HP, and himself having a blue buff. He was completely fine to go bottom, pressure Xiao Xiao so he can't come bottom, or to at least just stick around and zone him off. There's a lot of options there, and what ended up happening is he backed, and it seemed to be the worst one that he could have done in that scenario. So, as we get ready for that interview, though, that game was really action-packed, and it really delivered, especially towards the end there, where Team Liquid was getting those engages, getting those backline, uh, backline pressures. But, you know, that's enough from me. Now we're going to go hand it off to the desk, where Dash is standing by with an interview.